This episode of The Burning Discussion is brought to you by Club Triple X, the Discord server for gamers who strive to achieve extreme excessive excellence, and the official Discord server for The Burning Discussion. Link found in the description below. And we are live. Welcome, guys, to another burning discussion. I am your host, Extermicide. And uh, Ark, Ark is freaking still in his schooling. He just cannot get the difference between capital case and lowercase letters. And they're trying to teach him, but he's old, you know, so we got to give him a freaking break. But he will be back with us shortly, hopefully, because we, we, we actually miss him here. Um, below me, we, we got Vladis, the always opinionated. How you doing, my son? I'm doing well. Doing I, well. I can't believe I just called you son. Holy fuck. Shoot me. <laughs> below, <laughs> below you, we have freaking Creed. How you doing, my friend? Doing well. It was a good long weekend. For me. Good, good, good. I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, to the right of him, the ever lovable, the always popular Ludo. How you doing? I'm doing good, Dad. How you doing? My son. Yeah, now see, I, I have no problem with you being my son, although I, I, I'm, I'm going to be tossing your room every now and then looking for your shit. <laughs> <laughs> and above you, we have we have a stranger. Okay, so he, here's the deal with me, Matt. Okay, someone who was watching our show sent me a message and said, hey, I came across this uh, YouTuber. His content is kind of solid. You should check him out. So I went, I checked out a couple of his videos. I agree. His content was up there. You, you know, this kind of person that, you know, carried himself in the way that I like to see people carry themselves when they're doing uh, Ash's content and everything. So I hit him up. I said, hey, you want to be on the show? And he said, sure. So here we are. Me, Matt, welcome. Howdy. So good to be here whenever we have a guest on the show we always start off with getting to know you a little bit give it give us a little the lowdown on me Matt, as far as your freaking gaming goes your 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 history of freaking gaming uh pretty simple uh i mean i'm really big into rpgs uh first mmo was uh world of warcraft for my age not a big surprise uh started out in a uh, birding crusade I uh, was really heavy into that during college uh, through Wrath. Uh, and then I kind of fell out uh, just mainly because my friends kind of fell out. Uh, so really the game that I've kind of sunk my most uh, time into is Diablo 2. I uh, just love replaying that, you know, with uh, Resurrect Resurrected that just came back. Uh, been really sinking into that again. Uh, other MNOs, probably the number one, it would be a DC Universe Online, uh, specifically oh, wow. on the console because I was doing a lot of console stuff. Um, but those are kind of the the big games that I've been latched to. Okay. Uh, I mean, also like Destiny Two, if you want to consider that like a MMO light. I was really big MMO. into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's much of an MMO than a, a, I would guess lost ark is <laughs> um yes <laughs> so when it comes to ashes how did you hear about it what was it that pulled you in to wanting you to so, jump on that freaking hype train it, it was uh the lazy peon video is the first <laughs> yeah. one that i saw surprise big surprise, surprise again <laughs> uh but just everything that was spoken about and then when i started researching the game like it really spoke to me as a game because RPGs are really fun, but when you apply the multiplayer acts aspect to them, uh, it just takes it to a whole further like way to go. Like I, I've been really getting into D and D recently and it's just a different play experience. It's really fun. And this project has so much ambition that all the like other competition or current MMOs, they really aren't doing. And that's what I'm really drawn to right now. Uh, we'll see if they can really hit 
all that uh, ambition. But if they do, I think this is going to be a special game, and it's going to be a special game for a very long time. So mm -hmm. I think uh, you're in good company here, then, because I think we all kind of agree this with the same thing. Um, can it go bad? Yeah, we've seen it before. We've been promised things in the past and have have it be blatantly lies. Uh, don't get that feeling though um, with with Steven. So hopefully everything is on the up and up, and we get the freaking game that uh, that we all finally finally deserve. So with that, we're going to get right into this, okay? We're going to be talking tonight about the Holy Trinity and beyond, okay? Um, Holy Trinity is something we have not touched base on on the show at all. And I do have a... Let me uh, throw that up there. So everybody knows, as far as freaking gaming goes, we're, yeah, we're not talking the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost here. We are talking the healer, the damage <laughs> dealer, and the tank. And this isn't limited to MMORPGs. Um, almost every type of game out there now kind of revolves around this holy trinity, um, to an extent, at least. You know, um, a lot of different genres touch base on it. So I, I want to start with Vladis. Um, is it possible in this day and age to actually have an MMORPG? Because I, I want to I want to keep this conversation ashes. I, I want to keep it focusing on MMORPGs mostly. Is it possible in today's day and age to create an MMORPG without the Holy Trinity? Um, I would say it's possible. Has it been discovered yet? I don't think so. And I think that's why people don't want to go against it. I think um, most development companies, they know that combat is something that a lot of players are very, very passionate about. And it's that day-to-day -day constant button pushing that people are very used to that whenever you're get presented something completely different, different sometimes intrigues us, but different definitely scares us at the same time. So um, I, I, I always, you know, I don't think people are, are asking, right? I don't think us as MMO players are saying, why don't they create something more than the, you know, the Holy Trinity or, you know what I mean? Like no one's asking for it, right? So because no one's asking for it, the developers are like, well, this is what people like. Um, and that's what it is. The only thing I'm kind of worried about when it comes to combat is uh, because I I'm not just a, d a damage person. I love healing, and every time I get into it with somebody regarding the tab versus action debate, point me to an MMO that does healing action well, and I'll play that MMO because I have not played an MMO that does action healing anywhere near fun or anywhere near good. And I understand that Ashes of Creation is trying to create a hybrid system. Um, yeah, but that's a, that's a topic for another show. I really don't want to get into the whole combat and hybrid mechanics of the the thing. I, okay. I, 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 want, I want to speak about the Holy Trinity. Um, Ludo, are, are you in full agreement with what he said there? Not really. Okay, go, then go, because I, I, saw, I saw you squirming <laughs> in your chair, and I know. I'm starting to get good at reading um, your body language. <laughs> you just like watching my body. <laughs> no, all right. So the Holy Trinity thing... Guild Wars 2, when it first launched, they went on a platform. We're different because we have no Holy Trinity. That was their selling point. And it was really good until they wanted to introduce raids. And then they were like, well, now we need someone that can actually tank. And we're going to need a healer. And so now we have like a soft Holy Trinity that exists within raids and within the uh, fractals, which is like the uh, challenge mode dungeons kind of thing. So yeah, I, I think the Holy Trinity thing is necessary for group content, um, for, for more difficult group content, because you need that structure. Um, but I had so, so more fun. In, in Guild Wars, if we, without the, the Holy Trinity, that people would not play their roles that, you know, they, they wouldn't, you didn't heal need themselves it. or they wouldn't you, you you didn't really necessarily need the holy trinity because every class could self-heal every class was able to evade the damage that was being thrown at them but when you th started with the raids and you added more mechanics and the boss is doing more damage there's more ads then your own self-heals were no longer enough evading like most classes can dodge twice in a row before you have to wait for your endurance to regenerate. So 
when you're evading all of these mechanics, well, now you're waiting on your endurance and you can't evade everything. You can't self heal enough to negate that damage that you just took. So within harder content, it became more necessary for the tank, the healer and DPS roles. But when it, when honestly before raids, I loved it. I, as a thief, not needing to rely on getting a party with, with a tank and a healer, I could get a party a lot easier because there's no Holy Trinity. Every class is just as valuable. So, 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 so playing both different forms within the same game, mind you, which, which version do you like better? No Holy Trinity or Holy Trinity? Depending on the content, I honestly prefer Holy Trinity. Okay. I, I liked not relying on it. I liked being able to do the content as a thief, knowing that the content was designed for me to play without relying on somebody else's heals or tanking ability. So like a, there, there was one time in, in particular, I remember one dungeon that was really, really difficult. And this was before there was the Holy Trinity or soft Holy Trinity in the game. We were on the final boss and I was better at dodging the mechanics than everybody else, kind of because I have shadow steps, but I was the last one alive and the boss was at 50%. And they were pissed off at me, but I soloed that boss from 50% till he was dead. <laughs> and I loved that ability. <laughs> like, it was just all skill-based. I didn't need a healer. I didn't need a tank. It relied on my own skill. Yep. I've seen the same sort of thing happen in Neverwinter. So Neverwinter is much the same. Now, there are some stuff that you had to do, of course, that uh, you, where you needed a tank, you needed the healer, because you needed the heals. But for the most part, there were self-heals and self-controls and stuff. That uh, it came down to player skill, and you can have you know multiple mm -hmm. different characters and and classes, but you didn't have to have the absolute. But one of the funny things that happened in this in more recent times with Neverwinter in particular was that the, the classes got us up, and everybody was self self contained. But there was still certain ones you needed the healer and the buffs and all that, and it's good to have a tank, anyways. Then they switched it into the Holy Trinity full on. And unfortunately, along with the time when they made those choices, that also killed the game uh, for a lot of people as well. And it was because now the healer, that's all the healer can do. There is no more battle cleric. So now it's just the healer and a buffer. And battle cleric went way down the list to it. It was almost unplayable. You couldn't play it as a battle cleric anymore. And the tanks became... Nobody wanted a tank because tanks didn't do DPS and stuff like that. Uh, so as a result of that, it became harder to find a tank and a healer. And so the grouping and the dungeon raiding, need a tank, need a healer. 20 minutes later, need a tank. You know, 40 minutes later, tank left, need a healer and a tank. You know, and then you got stuck with just right. having those classes. Mm -hmm. And, so, so the same and it really I messes asked, up the balance. So the same question I asked Ludo, you know, playing a game where you've kind of had both, do you prefer Holy Trinity over not having it? Neverwinter at one point was kind of, had offered both. You could run the class and there's certain dungeons you absolutely need a tank and a healer. There was no question without it. And, and, uh, and then you had, but uh, when they made it full on, I don't know. It's, it goes either way. It works well, but when you go from having one and turn a game into another, it doesn't work. It kills the gameplay. Mm -hmm. kills the player's stance on the game. If you go into the game not knowing any different, and that's what the game presents, then you're fine. But whatever you do, do not make the changes at a later date. And mm -hmm. uh, that can be that can suffer very. That suffers the 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 content very quickly. So, me, Matt, um, World of Warcraft, did you do a lot of raids? Uh, I did not. Uh, I did a lot of, uh, you know, more RP elements and a lot more with, like, crafting and more of the world and getting out to that. I mean, I did get into a little bit of raiding uh, just because it's weird because I came in after Vanilla and a lot of the people that I was playing with uh, were there from the beginning. So they've already done Molten Core. They've already done this content. And as I'm leveling, I'm still behind them. And so I never got into that type of group content very heavy in uh, WoW, but uh, DC Universe Online, a little bit more so, uh, specifically because they added 
like an extra like fourth member to the Holy Trinity where they had a controller, uh, which ended up being metagamed into just a power bar healer. So you're just healing the uh, mana in essence. Um, but initially the design was that this class can control mobs uh, tank controls the threat, healer does the healer, and then DPS does the damage. Um, so really, for me, it comes down to design content and how you want to initially design what the players are going to do. Because if you similarly look at like a single-player RPG, you're going to build your character with the tools to tackle the content that you're doing. So like Diablo 2, I mean, you essentially just bump up your vitality, which gives you as much health as possible. So that's your way of getting a little bit more defense. Uh, but you can always heal yourself. And then there's you have different tools that you can kind of use to like stun, uh, do mass damage, all that sort of thing. So if your content is designed to have like a toolbar that you would fill out as a single player, when you apply that to the multiplayer aspect, uh, you have to kind of design that with the Holy Trinity. And that's why it's successful because you're essentially assembling a group as your Batman's utility belt uh, versus just a singular <laughs> player, just Batman going in. He's got all the tools to do the job. So, all right. you know, my preference has always been that type of design, uh, especially because uh, MMOs, especially, especially the early designs like vanilla war uh, world of warcraft is really designed off a of tabletop rpgs and you know when you look at dnd and how you build your characters you do need multiple roles for the combat part of campaigns yet people go down you want to keep their life up you got to work together and uh, that's kind of the fun aspect but one of the problems with, uh, I mean, like uh, Creed mentioned, once you can't find those people to fulfill those tools that you need within the group, it it stagnates what you're doing. So, right. like the, I've always uh, made an argument that the end game in MMOs is more just getting friends that you can consistently play with, uh, versus you know the the looking for dungeon just kind of trying to find another tank because you need one tank for the content so all right i'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you there because you're 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 excited yeah. you're excited uh vlad i'm going i'm <laughs> coming back to you for a minute um as far as the holy trinity goes vlad when as far as an mmorpg goes and as far as <clears throat> balancing goes if they increase the stats in the freaking tank or whatever and then you all of a sudden you get people whining in the in the forums you know oh you know now x class can't freaking beat this class or whatever I mean, does the holy trinity present problems when it comes to balancing with all the different um, classes i think it alleviates it in my opinion I think there's always going to be balancing within each part. Um, but we already know, and it's Steven said this many times, that Ashes of Creation is not going to be balanced. Like, it's it's not. Like, it's not going to be balanced around 1v1. It will be balanced around eight players. But, I mean, now that we kind of think about it, Ashes isn't really a Holy Trinity either. Because support is going to play a huge role. And the one thing that I found from Raiding for World of Warcraft for myself for almost 15 years... I've seen what homogenized classes look like, and that sucks. When everybody yeah. can do everything, it sucks. 